here. I'm Beth with 50 Plus Beauty and I am glad to have you here with me today for kind of a serious video. This is a very personal video because I had a stroke about four months ago almost exactly. There is me on August 15th and thank goodness I recognized the stroke early enough to get to the hospital and get a life-saving clot-busting drug. But since that time I have done lots of research because of course I don't want to have another stroke. And the American Stroke Association says that one in four people will have a second stroke. And I don't want that to happen to me. And one of the things I have done is made a radical change in my diet. For those of you who have followed my channel, you know that really for the past about seven or eight years, the whole length of the time I've been on YouTube, I've been on a very high fat meat based diet. For six of those years, the first six of those years, I was on the keto diet in which I ate very high fat meats and some vegetables. And then I transitioned to the carnivore diet about a year ago. And I initially thought the carnivore diet was safe. I don't know what possessed me to think that. Basically, I was following social media influencers. I don't think they have any bad motivations at all. They think what they're doing is correct. But since I had a stroke, all bets are off and I did my own research and I have come to believe that while carnivore proponents may think it is a safe diet and they have all of these ideas as to why it's safe, you know, we were originally carnivores or something like that. However, the carnivores I know of are lions and tigers and they have pointy teeth and big claws and they run after their animal game and bring it down. That is certainly not the kind of carnivore I was. I was going through the McDonald's drive through a lot. But basically when I was doing my research, I looked out for long-term studies on the carnivore diet. And of course there are none because it's relatively recent. There aren't even any long-term studies on the keto diet in terms of reversing heart disease. And having had a stroke four months ago, I have heart disease. And the risk factors for having a stroke, I don't have any of those except for one. And these are the risk factors for having a stroke. The first is eating a high fat diet, high in saturated fat, trans fat and cholesterol. The second is not getting enough physical activity. The third is drinking too much alcohol. And the fourth is smoking and using tobacco. And I will say I have certainly been on a high fat diet. I was one of these carnivores who absolutely loved ribeye steaks, which are about the highest fat red meat you can get. I would go out to a restaurant and I would actually bring along my stick of butter in case all they had was margarine because of course I wanted the healthier, better option. But in terms of any of the other three risk factors, I just don't have them. I am an active weightlifter and I do a lot of cardio Monday through Friday mornings. Maybe not as much cardio as I should have, but I certainly did weight training. I haven't had a drink in 25 years and I haven't smoked since I was in my early 20s, which has been more than 40 years ago. And the doctors were kind of baffled about why I had a stroke because they said, you just don't have any of the risk factors. They didn't even particularly mention diet. That is something that I came upon in my own research. And I also decided to go through Dr. Caldwell D. Esselstyn's Cardiovascular Disease Prevention and Reversal Program. And I would urge you, if you're interested in this topic, or God forbid, if you have had a stroke or a heart attack or some other form of cardiovascular event, then I hope you will go watch the video, Forks Over Knives. It is a wonderful documentary and it features Dr. Caldwell B. Estelston and explains a lot of the research that he has done. And basically, Dr. Esselstyn is the director of the Heart Disease Reversal Program at Cleveland Clinic, which is known as the nation's number one heart disease clinic in America. And he came to national attention after some groundbreaking research, a study that he did in 1985, where he basically took about 24 or 25, I can't remember exactly how many, but he asked the cardiology department at Cleveland Clinic to give him either 24 or 25 heart patients, and they gave him some seriously ill heart patients. In fact, five or six of them had been basically told by their cardiologist that it was too late and that they just needed to go home and get their affairs in order that they were likely to pass very soon. Well, basically what he did with this small group is he worked with them over 12 years, putting them on a whole foods plant-based diet, a very low fat version of a whole foods plant-based diet, and he followed them doing cholesterol tests every few weeks at first and then every month and then every three months. And during that study, there was real evidence of heart disease reversal. That group altogether, several years before they came together in 1985, they had had a total of 48 heart disease stroke related events. 
and then Dr. Esselstyn put them on the plant-based diet, followed them over the 12 years, and not one of them had even one heart-related event. And in fact, in some of the patients that had angiograms before and after, he was able to show that blocked arteries of the heart, the coronary arteries, were actually unblocked following the whole foods plant-based diet. Again, it was a very low-fat version of that diet. Now, as I mentioned earlier, Alan and I just started on December 7th, which was last Friday, we just started Dr. Esselstyn's Heart Disease Reversal Program. And in future videos, I will tell you my results of that because I'm just as interested in that as you are. I'm probably even more interested than you in that since I did have a stroke. And in a few moments, I'll tell you more nuts and bolts and more specifics about his program and what I'm actually doing. But first, I wanted to give you my cholesterol numbers after two months on a plant-based diet. And I will say, Alan and I have known that we were going to follow Dr. Esselstyn's program. We enrolled in it a couple of months ago and we did some research on his program and we knew that it was whole foods, plant-based, and that it was also very low cholesterol. And by that, you don't eat any animals of any type, any dairy of any sort. You just eat fruits, vegetables, and whole grains, but you avoid anything that is high fat. You also cut the salt, by the way, but you avoid anything that is high fat, even something like avocados, nuts, you don't have those either. Also, olive oil, you have none of that. People call that the heart healthy oil, but he does not believe that is the case. Now, you can go a little bit lax on some of those oils if you don't yet have heart disease, but since I already have heart disease and want to reverse it, on December 8th, I made the decision to go with a full program, which includes the low fat version. So as of a few days ago, I stopped avocados, I stopped nuts, I stopped any kind of added oils on any food of any sort. But for the last two months leading up to this point, Alan and I have been on a whole foods plant-based diet and my cholesterol numbers are pretty darn good and let me share them with you now. On August 15th of 2023, the day of my stroke, my total cholesterol was 234. Then on December 7th, just a few months ago, after two months on the plant-based diet, my 234 cholesterol had dropped to 164, which was a 70 point drop. My LDL on the day of the stroke was 144 and it dropped to 80, which is a 54 point drop in just two months. My HDL did go down a bit from 78 the day of the stroke to 69 just a few days ago. And I will tell you that HDL, they always say that's the healthy cholesterol and it should go up. But what I have learned since having the stroke is that the HDL rushes in to help you if you have high LDL. So when I had the higher LDL on the day of the stroke, I had more HDL trying to combat the damaging effects of that LDL. But now that my total cholesterol has gone down so much and my LDL has gone down, I don't have the need for that high amount of HDL. That's why it has gone down a bit. And in terms of my triglycerides, on the day of the stroke, they were 59. Now they're 77, which was an 18 point increase. And triglycerides often increase on a whole foods plant-based diet because it is a higher carb diet and the higher triglyceride number does reflect the higher carb nature of the whole foods plant-based diet. But all the current research indicates that triglycerides of 150 or less are just fine and I'm well under that. And I have to say my numbers make me super happy because Dr. Esselstyn believes, and research does back this up, that if you have a total cholesterol of less than 150 and a total HDL of less than 80, that you are basically heart attack proof. And for me, the past two months of a plant-based diet has taken my LDL right where it needs to be at 80. Although he says there's no harm in going lower, which I hope happens over the next month or so on this diet. And my total cholesterol at 164 now is very close to that 150 number, which is my target in terms of avoiding future strokes, heart attacks, that sort of thing. And again, the Framingham Heart Study covered about 14,000 people over three generations, and no one had a heart attack who had a cholesterol of 150 or less with an LDL under 80. Okay, now let's get into what you've all been waiting for, and that is information on what Dr. Esselstyn's Heart Disease Reversal Program is all about. And basically, I discovered this a couple of months ago, and I was so excited because I had seen Forks Over Knives, and I really respected Dr. Esselstyn and his knowledge of the heart disease reversal area. And basically, how it works is, 
They have the program once a month. It is on Zoom. I guess before Zoom, you had to go to the Cleveland Clinic and be there in person, but now they do their sessions through Zoom. And I will put information below the video if you'd like to learn more about that program. Basically, the price of the program is $800, and that covers you and a spouse because Dr. Esselstyn truly believes, and I believe this as well, that you cannot have success on this program unless you have the success of your spouse or close family member because it really is an all-encompassing dietary change. And we attended our Zoom session just a few days ago on December 7th. And prior to the session, we got two sets each of this material. So I got two of each of these books. The first is the Prevent and Reverse Heart Disease booklet. And this is a wonderful little self-study guide. He does take you through everything, but it has an introduction, resources, eating out guide. It has a question and answer. It has a safe food list, which I particularly loved because it gives you some processed foods that you can buy that do meet the guidelines for the program, which is wonderful. It has a recipe section and an article section. If you'd like to look at the scientific research about all of this, there's a look at the inside of the book. I love that it's color tabbed there. I also received Dr. Esselstyn's New York Times bestselling book, called Prevent and Reverse Heart Disease. And it says here, the book behind Bill Clinton's life-changing vegan diet. And you may remember that he liked a lot of McDonald's and he did go vegan plant-based and he seems to be doing very well since then. And in addition to that, I was also sent the Prevent and Reverse Heart Disease cookbook. And this cookbook is again, a New York Times bestseller. It was written by Anne Crowell Esselstyn and Jane Esselstyn, who I think Jane is one of Dr. Esselstyn's daughters, but they have a YouTube channel, which I'll link below, containing lots of great plant-based low-fat recipes. But this is wonderful. And as you can tell, I have already dog-eared many, many pages and I have made quite a few good recipes in here. My favorite was their mashed potatoes and mommy's gravy, which is a mushroom gravy, which is just wonderful. And I will say the thing that surprised me perhaps most about this program is that Alan and I got a call about two weeks from the seminar from Dr. Esselstyn himself. And it was so amazing because I picked up the phone, it was in the evening, and immediately I knew that voice. And if you watch Forks Over Knives, Dr. Esselstyn has this beautiful voice of God sort of voice. And he basically gave us a consult over the telephone. He wanted to get to know a little bit about our background. And so I told him about the stroke and he asked about where our cholesterol numbers were at this time. And amazingly enough, after three weeks of following the program, he wants us to go get a second set of cholesterol numbers done because apparently in only three weeks, your cholesterol can really go down. Here are some of the benefits of the program. And it says, how well does the program work? And it says at the top, five of the 24 patients in Dr. Esselstyn's initial study were told by cardiologists that they had less than a year to live. Yet 12 years later, following the Esselstyn program, they survived symptom-free. And the first benefit of the program is a lower cholesterol. And it says within the first eight to 12 weeks, patients' average total cholesterol levels dropped from 246 milligrams per deciliter to just 137. The second benefit of the program is that there were no cardiac events. Before the study, the patients had 49 cardiac events, as I mentioned before, but none of the patients who adhered to the eating plan experienced a cardiac event within 12 years of follow-up. And the third benefit of the Esselstyn Heart Disease Reversal Program is excellent angiograms. Patients' angiograms showed a widening of the coronary arteries a reversal of heart disease. And I will say I have been extensively studying this issue. Dr. Dean Ornish, for instance, has a program which is actually reimbursed by Medicare now in which patients who are about to have a stent or another heart-related procedure can opt instead to go into the Dean Ornish program, which is again a heart disease reversal program. It's a bit more extensive maybe than Dr. Esselstyn's program because in addition to the whole foods, low-fat, plant-based diet, it also includes meditation and quite a bit of physical activity. However, I really like Dr. Esselstyn's approach because he is getting the same results in reversing heart disease as Dr. Dean Ornish, but you don't have to do an extra two hours or so a day 
in meditation and physical exercise. Now let's take a look at some of the foods you can eat on Dr. Esselstyn's heart disease reversal program. This is the whole foods plant-based diet pyramid. You can eat leafy greens of all types. You can eat a variety of grains in their whole grain form, legumes, which are beans, and you can eat a full range of vegetables on Dr. Esselstyn's program but you can't eat avocados, and as you see in the little red X at the top of the pyramid, while most eating plans do allow you to have a small amount of fats and oils, Dr. Esselstyn's Heart Reversal Program says absolutely no fats of any type and also no oils. And again, that does include avocados, and I had to give up peanut butter, which was really tough because in my first two months of the plant-based eating program, one of my favorite lunches was a whole grain bread sandwich made with peanut butter, bananas, and raisins. Darn, no more peanut butter. Well, thank you for watching this video about my start on Dr. Esselstyn's Heart Disease Reversal Program. And if you'd like to learn more about my progress as I go along the way, please give me a comment in the comment section because I would love to share that information with you. Well, at this point in the video, I generally like to give you a thought for the day. And my thought for the day actually involves someone very special in my life. And that is my brother, Leslie Ruthven. And he lives in Houston right now and in our family, it was me, I was the oldest, my brother, and then my sister. And my brother in our family was always kind of known as the golden boy. And you would think, you know, I'm blonde. Well, I'm Clairol blonde, but you would think I might be the golden girl, but no, I am not. I am not the golden one in this family. Laura and I, and probably even my parents would agree that my brother truly is the golden boy. And here is a picture of my brother, Les, along with his lovely wife, Adrian. And the reason I say Les is the golden boy because he is the most good, kind, but yet humble person you would ever meet. Also, he is brilliant. He recently retired at the age of 62 years old from Shell Oil, and he was their principal software developer and he was renowned at Shell. In fact, he would go to the headquarters at Royal Dutch Shell in The Hague, and he is so modest and non-assuming that he would never tell you this. But his wife, Adrian, said as he would go through the halls of Royal Dutch Shell at The Hague, people would say, that's Leslie Ruthven. He invented the program that helped discover oil under the sea. I'm not sure that's totally right. I think he just contributed to it but he was well renowned for pretty much being a genius at Shell. And although my brother is humble and would never admit it, he is just a genius in the way he lives his life. He is a good, kind person. He doesn't hold resentments toward anyone. He is a good example of what I would only hope to be. And amazingly for the last 10 years or so, he and his wife, Adrian, have been totally whole foods plant-based. And they became that way based on the book, How Not to Die by Michael Greger, MD. And as I was going through the keto diet and eating all the meat I could find on the carnivore diet, Leslie very subtly said, you know, you really ought to read this book, How Not to Die. I had the book, but as you can tell, it is like a Bible. So I got it as an Audible book and I will link it below. But I recently went through this on Audible actually a couple of times and I realized that my very smart, almost genius brother is right. And to give you some idea of how healthy Les is, on the whole foods plant-based diet he's been on for a decade. He is 62 years old. He is absolutely on no meds of any type. He has super low blood pressure. His total cholesterol is well below 150. His LDL is well below 80, making him, according to the Framingham study, heart attack proof. And in addition to that, he is amazingly physically fit. Here he is running a race with his daughter. Here he is running a marathon, and here he is running the Boston Marathon. And I believe Leslie has run the Boston Marathon twice. You have to qualify for that race, and at 62 years old, on no meds, totally healthy, and running marathons, I think I should have listened to him before I did now. And in fact, just the other day, I was speaking with Les and Adrian on the phone, and I said, it must have driven you crazy all those years that I was eating meat and butter and dairy. And again, he is so kind. And he said, yeah, we did worry about you, but you seemed pretty convinced about the course you were taking in terms of your diet, so we didn't want to interfere. And Leslie, I will say, thank you so much that all of those years, you were creating a good example for me now. And I will say, Leslie eats wonderful meals. Here is a look at something he loves, which is apparently a Japanese sweet potato. Haven't tried that yet 
but he said it is just delectable and I can't wait to give it a try. And if you are plant-based or have any other ideas about healthy diets you follow, please share the information in the comment section below the video because that way we can help each other. And it's been great visiting with you and I can't wait to see you in my next video. Thank you.